Good morning. Tis I. Tis I, Danny. <laughs> Context, listen to last week's pod if you haven't already. So here we are at Marks Hall Estate in Coggers Hall. Coggers Hall, Essex. Sort of between Chelmsford and Colchester. But we are in the car park for Marks Hall Estate. We've arrived nice and early. And we have the gem and the tiny Steve and the, and the Bev and a car park marshal here. So we're pretty much here before the event team. Helps us have a bit of a look around and settle in. Nice big car park behind. I'll just take a little walk down around the corner. And just here is a porter cabin. It's got nothing to do with the park run, but here are the toilets and the cafe. So nicely contained within, yet again, another park run location where everything is right where you need it. And just through there, there's an arboretum and gardens, and it is a pretty beautiful place. I'm trying to remember the history to it, a thousand years this place has been around. It's in the Doomsday Book. It's got 200 different types of trees. I think it's got some of the temperate trees from around the world. Uh, Kew Gardens is a connection with Kew Gardens. It's going to be one of those fantastic long stretch courses with trees either side for as far as you can see. As ever, I'm really looking forward to this. Let's go and take a look around and welcome to Mark's Hall Estate Park Run. Said hello to the lovely event team. Len Martin, their ambassador, is here. I've spoken to Liz, the run director. She's super lovely too. And apparently, we'll find out shortly, there's a walk up to the start. So the gate that you'll have seen a minute ago, we couldn't get through. We walk up to the start and it's up and we finish down. It's a net downhill. So if you want a park run that gives you a bit of an advantage toward the latter part, come here. Hi Bertie, come here. Ha <laughs> ha. New harness on the Bertie. Stalking! No, I'm not stalking. <laughs> See, even Bertie's saying you're stalking. Cheryl Current and Bob Brazen, how many weeks has it been? So, Bramall and Pow Wow, and last week at Dallas Burson, and today, and that's four out of white. It's about 50% stalkerage, right? Anyway, how you doing, guys? You all right? I'm having a We booked him about six weeks ago, Birthday yesterday, so we oh, for a little weekend yeah. away. Happy birthday, Neil. Happy birthday. So it's their second event. I know that I said I wouldn't go to second events, but I try not to. I definitely don't go to inaugurals, 
but we're going to take an eight minute walk up very shortly we need to go and listen to the run brief the other park runners are starting to assemble now people are pouring in and it's a two lapper it's a two lap course i thought it was one silly me but it's a two lapper so you get to have the wonderful beauty twice Has anybody never done a park run at all? No? Okay, that's all right. Let's look. Have you got a barcode? That's an important one. Has everybody got a barcode? Yay! Yes, because you'll need it at the end. No, I don't think I am. We're now taking this short walk, shortish walk, apparently it's eight minutes long, up to the start area, and then we're going to have the run brief there, and of course, the run starts. to mile in within the first lap and it goes downhill hooray although we have to come up again in just a bit thank you Marshall Thank you, volunteers. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, Marshall. Good morning, Marshall. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hello there. You are right? <laughs> What's your name, may I ask? I'm Maxine. Hello, Maxine. Hello. And uh, I thought well you had, done. I knew what it was. It's a little woolly hat. hat. It's too warm. It's too warm this morning yeah. for a woolly hat, isn't it? It's got very warm all of a sudden. So, uh, there thank it you. says Danny. Oh. Wave, well there you go. <laughs> Get Keep going! Yeah. Keep going! Do you want me to take the jumper? Yeah. What a wonderful family occasion. Well done, guys. So this is event number two, so obviously you haven't been here very regularly, but have you been to Park Run regularly before? Um, I went, I've been to Morton a couple of times. Morton. I ran this one last week okay. for the first time. I thought I'd volunteer this oh, week. Brilliant. Well, thank yes. you very much indeed for it. What a wonderful, You're beautiful welcome. location, it is. isn't it? It's lovely. Even magical, some might say. <laughs> anyway, take care. Sit a bit. So that basically, in a nutshell, is halfway. So the hill that we had to climb to get to the run brief, We've now got to go up. I've got two and a half K on my watch. So then basically up a little bit, along a little bit, down a little bit, into the finish. And it's another park run under the belt. coming up to 3k just coming up to the start line and this is a wonderful beautiful stretch of path Mark's Hall Marshall your name isn't Mark by any chance is it? It's not ah oh, it would have been so good if it was It's nice to be at the chatty end of the field. Good morning, guys. Hello. Regular park runners? Uh, no, not really. Be, but no. Occasional. So, obviously, first time here. Were you here last week for the inaugural? Yeah, first time. First time. Yeah. Have you park run elsewhere? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I think Molden's I posted this one. Molden, okay. Yeah. Oh, the prom might have been there many years ago. Yeah. But you thought you'd come and do a nice hilly one instead of a nice flat yeah, one? Yeah, I'm not sure. 
realised it was hilly before we got here. <laughs> We're all finding out the hard way, yeah. but still a wonderful morning, yeah? Enjoying it? Yeah. Great. Thank you. I'll see you then. Have a great run. See you. Bye, mate. Another one of those, I bet, uh, about to say, noisy plane, nice and peaceful and quiet. Try that one again. A little bit out of breath, a little bit unfit. It's gonna take a while for my fitness to come back, but another park run where just being amongst the woods and the trees and the bird song, not plane noises overhead, just gives you a respite just to stop and think and enjoy being outside. Oh, thank you, Marshall Estate. Here we go into the end thank you Marshall thank you thank you Timer thank you Paul thank you thank you guys thank you thank you for the token one five six thank you all right let's go and get scan off a phone <laughs> cheeky well I'll still be using my wristband not in a rush to use my phone, but it may come in handy in future. Once they change the policy, hello. Hi there. Thank you very much for Barker Channel. Have you got it? That one Is it all, all sorted? That one, that's Beautiful. Right. Thank you. I'll put it in for you. Yes, yeah, certainly. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for more volunteering this morning. Good morning, Lizzie Armour, run director this morning. Carrie D here at Mark's Hall Estate. Is it Mark's Hall? I'm right in saying Mark's Hall, Mark's right? Hall, yes. Mark's Hall, is it a bit of a mix? Mark's yes, Hall, Mark's yes. Hall, okay. That's the, we're going for the traditional name of Mark's Hall. So. Oh, it is Mark's Hall, because it's based on the old English name, isn't it? Correct. A combination of the two. I've done all my wiki yeah. research. So I won't keep you very long, because it is super busy and, um, yeah, I think record turnout compared to the inaugural last yeah, week. Yeah, last week we had 110. This yep. week we've smashed that. Yeah. Um, and, but no, it all looks good. I think everyone's happy. There's a lot yeah. of locals this week coming, so. That's good, and obviously yeah. then other people like yourself who, yeah. you know, want to check it out. But everyone yeah. seems to be enjoying it. it. Seems to be a good run, good course. I hope you enjoyed the course. Always, always beautiful, yeah. tough but beautiful, and a wonderful yeah. location to have the park run. Thanks for speaking to me and let you get them back to run director okay, duties. Take care. I'm that annoying video man again. Actually, actually, we should picture. No. As you can tell, the ambiance here is fantastic. Everyone's had a great morning, and yeah, same here as is always. Wonderful location, it does undulate, it does take it out of you. I can imagine how gorgeous and beautiful this will be at the golden hour, be it in the morning or in the early evening. Obviously, summertime, wintertime, everything else. But sun rising, sun setting, it'll be absolutely glorious. All right, then, Mr. Paul Ford, timing wise, am I allowed to have a sneaky Yay. peek at your phone? Yeah. 229 is two, that two, right? Nine more this week than last week. 229 two, more. Yeah, so record attendance in the second event, which is always good. What did you think, Paul? I mean, yeah, you, were you timekeeping last week? Uh, no, I was running last week. You were running? Oh, you took part um, yeah, last yeah, week? Yeah, it's, um, it's a local one for me. Um, I'm over the moon because I'm only six miles away. So, uh, okay. yeah, it's a really, really fantastic event. And um, yeah, it's been, all seems to have gone smoothly. So Yeah, as always. Can I um, ask you a favour? Mm. Please, could you show me what's on the back of your hoodie? Uh, you <laughs> this is really like awkward. Everything. You know what? I've never actually seen anybody in the wild wearing with me now merch who is not Danny Norman. So really, well, there's a couple the here today. Um, yeah, come on. Then. Uh, on the back of my hoodie is. All right, here we go. Is it going to be? Yeah! 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 Hooray, happy I, yeah. sounds, I happy sounds. Team Danny. Thank so, you. There we go. How's that, Bev? I loved it. You loved it? I absolutely loved it. Really? Yeah, I really, really loved it. I can tell because when she's um, loved it, you can feel the passion in the voice. Um, yeah, I don't want to use the word amazing, but it is amazing. It's magical, isn't it? It is magical. And, um, you know, that's not just, uh, yeah. Taking the mickey out of Nicola. It's not taking the mickey out of Nicola. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that it's an Etta on Hill, which is great, but the colours are just amazing. It's so quiet, mm -hmm. really quiet, apart from every so often you just get all the leaves and you just. And there was a plane overhead as well at one point when I tried to impress that point on the video. But it's a shame it's a little overcast, isn't it? Because you can imagine in yeah, the bright sunshine. Yeah, if there sunshine. was just a little bit of sunshine, the trees, I took a picture of, I would say, 80, 90% of the trees. 
at there because they're just like, oh, that's a lovely tree. But if you get the sun going through, you get the leaves and dapple. But one yeah. strange thing, did you notice? Oh, here you go. This video is getting on longer and longer. Come on. Sorry, did you notice there was no squirrels out there? Yeah, I did notice that. I don't know why there's no squirrels. Why is there no squirrels? Has Bertie eaten all the squirrels? I did notice that. I thought, where are all the squirrels? Anyway. Mm. Coffee time? Cafe? Absolutely coffee time. Let's go and have a look. Absolutely. Are you happy and proud as an ambassador, Len? Always, always. always I was going to get you filming, just, filming I've just me. Finished, I've finished. Anyway, uh, but uh, thumbs up, Len, for thank, a fantastic ambassador. Much sorry, appreciated. Just very quickly, thank you for the, the good, positive ambassador plug, by the way. Yeah, you're, you're very welcome. I you're very welcome. I believe it and I mean it, and I appreciate you, all you guys. Oh, it's really, really appreciated, mate. Thank you very much. Outdoors in the cafe area. Busy, 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 busy. And look at this, this is fantastic. What a great little touch. Look, volunteer doing the, doing the sweeping of the mud. Got all the trainers for the cardboards. So even if the mud is on your shoe, it doesn't go in the cafe. And there's a big old queue in the cafe. I don't know where my peoples are. Where are they? So I'm getting in everybody's way. I think someone's getting me food and drink. I'll find out very shortly. Anyway, see in a bit. Into the cafe we go. <clears throat> I've had happiness today, but now I've had a bit of sadness. Now, let me show you why. Cue sad music, my stalker. Now it's time for the outro. <laughs> Everyone goes really quiet because they're really shy when I hit the record button. How are you doing, guys? All good? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Cafe areas vacated a little bit, everyone started to go home. Still a few hangers on. I need to speak to the run director for the podcast very shortly, but um, I won't ask for rankings or rankings. We don't rank or rate, but what are your feelings? What's the word that can sum up this morning for you all? Bev, you already said that you absolutely found it wonderful, magical, and lovely. It was amazing. It was amazing. Steve? Autumnal. It was really pretty. That uh, is one way to describe it, and, and, <laughs> uh, and Jen says it's really pretty. Yes? Pretty. Pretty is the ideal way to describe it. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've done it service on the video. It is a wonderful, majestic, magical place. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bev, do you like and subscribe? Do you know how to do the liking on your TV? Um, yes. <laughs> I won't even when ask the other two. there to tell me how to do I it. I have to go and do it for her anyway, which is bad enough. Right, take care. Until next week, we're going to... Very... Berry Field, up Berry towards, Field. oh, it's Newport Pagnall. Yeah. So, yes, take care. <laughs> See you then. <laughs>